His cartoons make people laugh, but recently he became the subject of another cartoon. Editorial cartoonist Jeff Katerba tackles things like politics and sports. He walks us through the process and what it's like to end up in a strip yourself. As an editorial cartoonist, I often poke fun at politicians and other newsmakers, which means I get to draw their caricatures. Now, the whole idea of a caricature, of course, is to exaggerate the facial features. Unlike some cartoonists, however, I try not to be too mean-spirited. That's not to say I can't have a little fun. So when coming up with a caricature, I'll focus on one or two features that stand out. In some cases, it's the goofy hair of Donald Trump, Kim Jong-un, or Bernie Sanders. Other times, I zero in on the beady eyes of Vladimir Putin, or even the more beady eyes of Bashar Assad, not to mention that weird little mustache. And then there are those political leaders who remind me of other cartoon characters, like Germany's Angela Merkel, who looks a little like Droopy Dog. But what happens when the tables are turned when another cartoonist draws me? It happened in France once while attending an international cartooning festival. A cartoonist from Romania turned me into Dracula. And then just recently, when reading the comics page, there I was, a featured character in the nationally syndicated comic panel, The Flying McCoys. Now I've known the creators of the panel, Glenn and Gary McCoy, for many years. But when Gary drew me in the cartoon, I have to admit, it was quite a thrill. I mean, he definitely got the hairline right, but I might have to have a few words with him about my nose, or maybe I'll have to draw his caricature. Yikes, yeah, I'd say that nose was way off. By the way, he is so talented. Finally, this Sunday, a look at what's happening this week in Omaha. Wednesday, you can scoop up some craft beer as the now closed bricks holds a silent auction. And on Friday night, catch a movie and carnival while showing support for sick children in our community as Werner Park hosts the Children's Hospital and Medical Center fundraiser. For more information on these events and others, take a look at the community calendar on Omaha.com. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching Omaha Sunday Morning, and we'll see you back here next week.